when I say we should have won the World Cup that year, what, what do you think, Joe? Do you think, look, you don't understand what really went on or, or do you agree with that statement? I think we was the talented collection of players. You know, you look at the names in that squad, Gerard, Beckham, Lampard, Scholes. Uh, I'm sorry, not Scholes, he wasn't there, but like top, top players. So you can understand why people look back and think of it. But when you have to look at it in isolation, you think you went into that tournament with, with Wayne Rooney struggling with a metatarsal injury, I think it was. Michael Owen had played very little football. Uh, so that's the two strikers who, over the previous five or six years, had, had contributed scoring goals. You know, and then I felt that Sven made a slight mistake. Now, we, we, we talk about Theo at 16 or 17 getting called up. But we, we, we know Theo's gone on to become a top, top player. It'd be interesting to get his thoughts one day. Whether, but to, to, when you've had two quick question marks over two strikers, you've got Croucher you know can score goals. In the national football, but then the fourth one, you go and you take a gamble, effectively taking a real young player with no Premier League experience. I think that was a that, that was a mistake, uh, where, and uh, and the person I felt sorry for in the situation was Defoe, because I feel and if we would have got through the Portugal game with Wayne would have been suspended, Michael would have been injured, it would have been just it would have been Crouchy on his own up top, you know, because I, I don't think Theo was ready at the time. Peter. Yeah, it was a it was a bizarre one taking Theo Walcott. He hadn't made a Premier League appearance, uh, sixteen years years of age, um, and I went as backup. Obviously, what Wayne Wayne Rooney wasn't uh, fit, um, but listen, it was a, it was a but it was for me. I got to play at a cup, and I felt that I was playing well, and I felt that um, I had the opportunity to then take the ball by the horns and and go and play for England. And uh, I felt I did myself justice. Um, I, I think. Michael Owen obviously getting injured in the Sweden game gave me another chance uh, to play and um, and I felt I gave a decent account of myself but when I look round at that squad uh, I think what what should have been really um, I think it was the best squad we had since since 66 um, everyone was a household name everyone was at the top of their game if you think through the John Terry's Rio Ferdinand's I think uh, the, the, the words word world class are banded around quite a lot but uh, I think those players were playing at their peak were world-class players and I think that was a real opportunity for us to go and grab a World Cup and I think everyone will look back on that 2006 with disappointment. I remember a couple of years ago having a, a conversation about playing for England with Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard and, and Rio Ferdinand all together on Premier League tonight and I suppose the two things that stood out for me from that, first of all was the, the tactical element and Sven not being fluid enough with his tactics and being quite rigid. But the other thing which was really interesting for me was this club versus country debate. And actually that a lot of the players in that period were struggling to have a good relationship with someone that played for a big rival. And actually that, that, cost, that cost England. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, I, I, don't, I understand where the guys are coming from. I mean, I found myself quite in a, in a unique position was... Um, I, was, I wasn't really affected by that and I, I didn't really sense that was a problem at the time. Maybe looking back, if the guys are saying it was a problem, then it was a problem. But for me, I, I, I didn't, you know, I, I, I got on well with everyone and I was very much, when I put my England hat on, that was it. I was going to play for England. I think the problem lies what you first said, Jake. I think tactically, and I, I, I really like Sven and I admire him and he, he gave me most of my England caps, but, you know, we wasn't fluid enough. There wasn't an... Uh, you know, we was very... I thought we was 10, 15 years tactically behind our time. The way... And, and, and yeah, and, and also, I think the only time when we needed him to play it safe and go with, you know, when you've got question marks over certain players' injuries and go with a, a reputable player, he saw the flair came in and, and he went with, he, he went with, with Theo when, when, at the time, and all respect to Theo because he, he's a top player, he turned into a top player, but... Jermaine deserves to go to that tournament. Peter? Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, Defoe was in, in great form. It was a, it was a strange decision, but um, I haven't got a bad word to say, to say against Sven, really, only because he gave me my England debut and he believed in me. He gave me loads of, loads of confidence to, when I walked into that dressing room full of top, top players. Um, so that, that I was... I was comfortable among them and he made me comfortable among them. Um, so, yeah, but I think I do agree slightly with Joe. I think that, you know, it was, we could have perhaps done more, um, 
But at the end of the day, it was penalties again that, that was our, our undoing. There was a lot of, there was a bit of a circus, obviously, around the, around the hotel. And uh, there was a few mistakes made there as well. But um, ultimately, you have to look back and, and say that we weren't good enough. We fell short. And there were a few individual errors, obviously, with, with Wazza being sent off. But um, there were certain things that we, we should have adapted to. And, um, yeah, we do, do look back on, a, on it with a, with a series of disappointment because I, I really do believe that we had a, a strong chance to win that tournament. What was the atmosphere like, Peter, directly after the defeat on penalties? Because I was actually at the 2006 World Cup. I was working on Children's BBC at the time and I was out there as the kind of news round reporter. And I remember being in the stadium in Gelsenkirchen and uh, absolute desolation at the full-time whistle. Tell me what was happening behind the scenes in the dressing room. What was the atmosphere like in there? Um, yeah, it was devastating. There was, a lot, there, was, there was a lot of tears after the game. Um, and then obviously you get back in the dressing room and it sort of turns to anger a little bit. And um, I think sometimes when you lose a massive game of football, you need a scapegoat. Um, and that scapegoat was Cristiano Ronaldo, um, just with the, with the fact that um, with Rooney getting sent off. And I think there was a lot of anger towards that. But I think when we got back to the hotel in the, in the cold light of day, you have to look and, and Wayne would have looked at himself and, and gone, he shouldn't, should have been caught up in that really. Um, shouldn't shouldn't have allowed himself to to sort of be played and and that's that's what he was really and um I think sometimes when we play for England at major tournaments it, we you get so worked up about it and as a nation um and and it, and it does spill into the players and I think we do get um we do get caught up in it all. and um and obviously was a was a moment of madness and um I wouldn't say that cost us because I still think we had enough about us to 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 go through and then when we once we get to penalties we, you know, we should have we should have put them away. But um, yeah, there was a lot of lot of anger and animosity, definitely with that with that situation. Um, but I think when, once we got back to to our clubs, and obviously people, a lot of people talking about how Wayne and and Cristiano would get would get on, and then they had a they were absolute on fire, weren't they, that season when we came back? Joe, I just I just think going back to to what I alluded to before, I think tactically was a big problem because I think when we found problems when we played these teams like Portugal uh, or, or teams who could hold possession, Spain and that, we were too rigid in the 4-4-2. There wasn't enough space where we could get players and play. You know, for instance, Paul Scholes had, had retired from international football and he was still in his prime. He could have been coached out, played in that holding role, you know, in there. Um you know that what you know Wayne was used as a, as a, a number ten at times when I felt sometimes Wayne Wayne when he was free to run in behind um, Crouchy Crouchy talked about you know the, the the circus with the the wags and things like that I wish I, I all don't think is a um, I think it was a, a, a distraction in in the sense of it but I think when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it it is just a case of of um, we just we just wasn't good enough Crouchy was we I think. And it's heartbreaking to say because, you know, the numbness you feel after a game when you go out, it's just, um, we, just wasn't, we just wasn't up to scratch. And I just hope one day, especially with these young lads now, that, that we can do it because it, it will just bring the country up so much if we, if we could one day win, lift that World Cup. Finally, guys, do you, do you two reflect on your England careers with pride that you represented your country, which is the absolute pinnacle and it's an amazing thing to have done? Or is there a tinge of regret that you were both involved in, as you've said, one of the, the greatest squads since we won the World Cup in 66, yet you didn't win anything? Yeah, I know, I know for me, um, it's an amazing sense of pride. Um, I always felt when I, when I played for England, I, I did myself justice. I know that I can look, look myself in the mirror and say, you know, I, I did give everything that... I had and um, and I think every single player in that dressing room would say the same. But as a group, um, I think we did fall short. Um, I can't, we can't get away from that. Um, when I look around the the squad that we had, I think that is a team that was capable of winning tournaments, and um, and we fell short. We didn't do that. So in all honesty, you have to say it was a failure. But every time I I see a goal on on social media or or someone reminds me of the fact that some of the games that I played for England and every single game that I played in was 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 of huge pride really so of course as a as a group we should have won something but on a personal level I just I felt great pride and 
absolute pleasure that I managed to represent my country 42 times.